today we're making a chocolate avocado mousse. So this is a really fun way to get that sweet kind of treat in with the chocolate if you're a chocolate lover, or to also get in a serving of veggies with the avocados. So avocados provide a lot of really awesome healthy fats for us, as well as some really great fiber. So those two things in combination will help you feel fuller for longer. So this could be a great snack too, like I said, if you're having that little kind of sweet uh, craving. So this is a vegan recipe in case that's something that you're interested in. Um, and today we're gonna use two avocados. I've got some melted chocolate over here. Cocoa powder, so this will give it a really rich chocolatey flavor. Um, a little bit of agave for our sweetener, but that could maybe be maple syrup if that's all you had, or honey if that's all you had, um, as well as vanilla, and then milk of your choice. So I have oat milk today, but again, that could be almond milk. It could be dairy milk, totally up to you. So first I'm gonna kind of show you what to look for when you're grabbing an avocado. So in case you've never bought them before, um, you wanna make sure that they're kind of a, this darker brown green color, as well as make sure you give them a little squish and you want them to be just a little bit soft to the touch. Anything super soft and it might be a little overdone. Anything too firm is gonna be really hard, almost crunchy. So not what we're looking for, we want like a really soft, um, smooth mousse. And then when you open it up, it should be really nice and green inside. If you have any brown spots, you can totally cut around them. It's not the end of the world. So, and then be really careful when you're cutting them. I kind of cut from top to bottom, go around, make a little circle around that pit that's in the middle. So just watch your hands, take it slow, and then you can just give it a twist and it should pop right open. Um, it's better if you can just use a spoon to pop this pit out. It's a little too risky to do it with a knife. There are too many horror stories, so save your hands, just pop the pit out like that. And then when you're ready to use it, so I'll just go ahead and throw it in our food processor here. You can just take your knife and give it a good scoop all the way around. It should come, should come right out. And that's especially true if you have a nice, bright avocado. If you get a little stem in there. Grab that out. Also, been said that you can kind of see if avocado is ready if you can like pull the stem out. So actually, all of these have the stems kind of popped out. So I think that's a good sign. So if you have any avocados at home that need to be used, this is a really great recipe because you're gonna blend it all up anyway. So if you do have any of those little blemishes in there, you won't notice. This doesn't taste super avocado-y. It will have a really nice chocolate flavor. And then basically we'll just add everything else. So we'll need a little bit of liquid to kind of keep it going. So add some of your milk, about a quarter of a cup. This is a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Um, it's optional, but just to give it that extra kind of flavor here as well with chocolate. And this is the sweetener, this is the agave. That's three tablespoons. And then this is a quarter cup of cocoa powder. So this will just taste like straight chocolate. It's not sweetened at all. It'll give it a really deep chocolate flavor. And then the last thing is a quarter cup of melted chocolate chips. So I melted this beforehand. Um, you just wanna do it in 30 second increments so that you don't burn it. Because if you overwork the chocolate or overcook it, it will be hard. It won't be nice and smooth. So it looks really nice here. And then we're gonna add a quarter cup. This can be dark chocolate if you love dark chocolate or if you like a little more sweetness, maybe just like a semi-sweet. Cool. So that'll make it really nice and creamy as well. Chocolate and avocados both have a lot of awesome antioxidants for some anti-inflammatory benefits. So two great things when we're thinking about plant forward snacks. So then we're just gonna blend it all up. So just to give it a minute to keep blending so that it gets really nice and smooth. I can kind of see some pieces of avocado in here. I just want to go until I can't see those anymore. As well as maybe stopping to give it a good stir. The avocado is such an awesome way to add like really nice creamy texture, especially for something that's like a plant forward or vegan option. We'll go again one more time. And this will last in your fridge for a few days or so, um, so you don't have to eat it all right away. 
but it should make a few servings um, for you and your friends to share, or to just snack on through the day or at night for dinner. Yeah, maybe a few berries on top or some more chocolate chips um, or granola too. 